pump. It's supposed to be at the parts store in 30 minutes. I'm gonna go grab that. And while I'm in town, I'm gonna get some food. And also I noticed I've got a few valve cover bolts missing. Um, one right there as well. So I'm gonna grab a few bolts there. Also need a couple bolts for the turbo. Back with reinforcements. Got the correct water pump and got these to use when I set the timer. And got that magnet thing for free. And then got some new valve cover bolts. So a can of paint and a drink, most important. Time to get some stuff done. So my luck's holding out this gasket, if I can get it to focus. This gasket came out of the box already kind of ripped. Now I'm not taking any chances with this thing. I'm just going to go grab another one. So the auto parts store is giving me the runaround. I went up there. They said they had the gasket. Get up there and they had the O-ring, not the gasket. So I'm having to order one. It won't be until 8.30 tonight. So whatever. In the meantime, I can't do the timing yet, but I can go ahead and put the bolts in place and torque a few things over here. Go ahead and do the cam seals that I need to do anyways. And if I've got time left after that, start rebuilding the turbo over there. So at least we got stuff to do in the meantime. I've got the cam gears off. Really just used uh, that bar, stuck it in between the spokes, and then used a breaker bar to get them off. No big deal. That one looks all right. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. And this one looks like it was leaking, so good thing I'm doing this. That was super easy. It's a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So. Okay, so as far as the water outlets go, this, where it was sideways in the car, is now going to be facing front that way in the truck. So this will be against the firewall. I'm gonna have to trim the firewall some, but less is better. So this is off a of 1.8 Mitsubishi. It fits up perfectly to that thing. Whereas before we had this, see the angle difference there, but see it points out less. So that'll help me a bit. And then the piece that was on top looked like this, but poked out this far. And instead of that, I'm gonna be using this. I don't know what this came off of, but this one will be pointing like that. So way better, because the other one was like way out here. And so I had to grind down the insides a little bit, but hopefully that's still enough to keep the water in. I think it should be all right. And I also had to grind a little bit right here and over there to get it to mate up against that thing. Those screws are in the way here, but you get the idea. And I'm not gonna be running a heater core. And so this was the hose that went to the heater core and that was the hose that came back. And this is my, uh, my heater core delete, basically. Uh, the hose is kinked right there, but that's fine with me. I mean, it's something that I just had laying around and it should keep any water from leaking. So there's no need for the water to flow through this. All right, so I'm at a bit of a standstill with this thing. There's this tool that you're supposed to have that goes in there so you can turn this that way and get the correct tension on here. I thought I could rig something to make it work. It's not working, so I'm gonna have to order the tool. No big deal. In the meantime, just tidied up the shop, got everything organized over here, and then I'm gonna work on rebuilding the turbo because I need to do that anyways. All right, so it's the next day. Just got off work and it's kind of late in the day today, so I don't have that much time to do stuff, but I am gonna take this intake manifold off because I found a guy that'll do the welding for me. So basically what has happened to this is the throttle body needs to be on this side and the old hole needs to be covered up. So I'm gonna take it off and cut it because I need to cut it before I bring it to the guy. And then once I've done that, if I've got some time left, I'm gonna start rebuilding this turbo, which I have to start by getting this stupid screw out. I've been drilling on it, but I haven't got it yet. So those are the goals for today. All right, got the intake manifold off. The gasket actually looks pretty new, so I don't know what's up with that, but here's all the pieces of it over here. Fuel rail, injectors, coil packs, all that good stuff. 
and here's the manifold. And what I'm having to do is the flange for the throttle body was on this side and I had to chop it off and then cut a hole over here because I'm going to have someone TIG weld it over here so it'll be facing the right side for when I put it in the truck. And then here's the piece that I cut off using a weld back over this hole so that there's no leaks. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I also drilled for what felt like forever on this hole and still have not gotten it. So I don't know, may have to go invest in a new drill bit or something, but we'll get there. All right, after a ridiculous amount of grinding and drilling and hammering and more drilling, I finally got this freaking bolt out. And this is what's left of it after all that grinding and drilling and beating the heck out of it. But finally got it, so I can move on with rebuilding the turbo.